right, everyone, this is a review of the Draw Tight 76182 hitch for the Subaru Forester. Uh, my model of the Subaru Forester is the XT with the rear sensors, so some of the instructions were a bit off uh, compared to what I've seen on the internet, so I decided to review this. Uh, just kind of a little story behind this is that I wanted to have a two inch ball hitch, but that's just to put bike trailers on it and such as that. The instructions that kind of differed were in some of the measurements in cutting this out. It says to do, I think it was a two and a half inches uh, from the edge up, but because I think this bumper is different, uh, the measurements are different, I almost had to go an extra inch or two. Luckily I was able to use my rotary tool to get in behind it without taking the whole hitch off because I didn't notice it till after it was all the way in. And I will tell you, it's a bear to get this thing in. So. Let's go underneath it, so pardon the movements here as I get underneath. Uh, the other thing that is in some of the videos were that you have to cut here, which in fact I did, decided not to have any of it rubbing, and the same on this side, as you can see there. Uh, this is the dual exhaust version, and yes, like they said, getting those connectors off are a pain. Also in the instructions, it says that you can't put all four of those screws in and if you look that you can you can actually get them in there's one and there's one those are the two that they say don't to put in uh, but you can do that this is a tight fit and let's see if i can get into here so you can see if you see that connector that gets in the way that gets in the way when you're bringing it back up uh bringing the hitch up uh so what you have to do is i tried to push it up into the top of the car but that didn't work so i had to actually pull it down as you see it there um, i made sure that none of it was rubbing on anything as you can see none of it's rubbing uh, everything is very secure with all of these wires uh, there's kind of a the idea of what that bracket looks like and that's why i had to push it down because of this high to hitch um, you see that it's completely hidden inside there and that you know again this uh, cut job's not the best. But again, uh, if you have any questions, you can let me know. Again, the e-trailer version, got it here in two days. Love it.